Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about what this important camera message means for your iPhone here that you have. This is a message that started to appear with iOS 14.4 and you're going to notice this in the settings as well and it could be quite frustrating, but what does that mean for your iPhone? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about that and what you can do to fix it possibly and also some further steps you can take if you still are having uh, that issue. So as you can tell here, this message started to appear on this iPhone 12 Pro Max and we're updated to the latest version here and it still seems to be an issue here and it kind of popped up when we did that iOS 15.1 update. Well, we started to kind of take a look at the camera here. So first thing is go check out your camera, see if you have any issues with your camera in different modes. So you want to go ahead, kind of check out, see if the camera's blurry or anything like that. You want to look for that. Check out the portrait mode, pano mode, all the modes, video recording as well, just to kind of take a look at to see if there's any issues with this, slow mode, all of that. Go first, check that out. And then after you have done that, you want to test out both the back and the front as well. So you want to do the same thing for the front and the back just to make sure they are working as they should. The next thing you want to check out is the flash. So this could potentially have impacted the flash to so make sure the flash is actually working on your phone as well and then check the flash level as well so make sure those are working so if those are working that means most likely there's no really issue with the camera so why that might appear is a couple reasons your first reason is going to be if you actually replace the camera with a non-genuine camera so maybe third party repair shop if they replace the camera for you that message is going to pop up because what apple has potentially done is that they're making all these repairs that you would do normally just go to harder and more detectable by consumers so especially if you're let's say on the second hard market if you're buying and selling phones and doing repairs you're going to notice that and it's going to be quite annoying because apple is trying to really push you to buy new phones well the next reason why you might be seeing that is that if the phone for example had a drop or something like that sometimes it could happen that the sensor inside the front or the back could potentially have impacted and got damaged that's why that message is popping up the next reason why you might be seeing that is simply after a software update so what happens is with iOS 14.4 is when we've seen that update and even with 15.1.1 we're still seeing that update one way we see some people have actually fixed that is that they were able to upgrade to the soft the latest version of software and it went away so again that's going to be kind of hit or miss for you as well it's something we have done but it didn't seem to fix the issue the other thing here that you can do is simply do a backup and then do a factory restore of the phone so if you backed it up to your computer or some other phone you can simply go into general settings general and then go down here reset and then do a erase all content and then set it up back again just to see if that message goes away again this is going to be a little bit more further into it of course you can also try doing the force restart of the phone so that's going to be pretty straightforward to do a force restart you're going to do volume up and down and then just quickly release up and down and then finally hold the side button here so that's going to be the way to do it again that's discussed in another video um, and if all of that didn't work, you potentially have to do what potentially is kind of left to do with the phone is take it to the Apple store. Unfortunately, there is one thing you could do, which is going to be a hardware repair. Again, that requires you to open up the phone and do much more with it, which we don't pretty much recommend for you because if you're doing that, what's going to happen is you're going to potentially damage, especially if you're not experience with doing the actual repair itself so it's kind of an internal hardware related issue which apple can run diagnostic and most of the time apple can if it's under one year or so they'll, they'll go ahead and fix it for you if they can but potentially we reached out to apple support on this issue and the one thing they mentioned is that still a bug fix in their actual software so it's a false alarm that's being happening on a lot of devices and if a lot more consumers start to report on this what's going to happen is they're going to prioritize on getting this fixed and at this point 
it's kind of frustrating but that's where apple has sort of landed with this error message so hopefully you got something out of this video again we mentioned it's not something you should be worried if your cameras are working try to update it to the latest version of the software do a forced restart and see if that helps and do a factory reset and essentially kind of hope for the best and lastly kind of reach out to apple support as they can kind of start taking a note of it as they mentioned to us that they're starting to see a lot more devices so it might be a widespread issue at this point so hopefully you got something out of this video and if this video is helpful please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button see you guys next time